Hey guys, and welcome back to another Halloween video. Now today I have a bit of a different video for you guys. Um, instead of doing a review of one prop, today I'm going to be talking about my entire skeleton collection as far as the animals go. I do have a couple um, non-animal skeletons like, you know, just regular old human ones and a couple ground breakers, but I'm just going to be talking about the animals today. And if you guys have um, seen my 2018 haunt video, um, you guys probably know that all of these have been featured in that yard. Now some of them may have been a bit harder to find, like particularly the smaller ones, but um, trust me when I said that I did uh, put them out. So without further ado, let's uh, talk about them, shall we? Now I'm going to talk about the smaller ones uh, a little bit less because uh, there are a couple of them that are animatronic. Uh, the back ones right there, the spider, that dog, the cat, and the wolf, those are animatronic. I'm going to talk about those later and I'm just going to go ahead and get the smaller ones out of the way first. So let's talk about them, shall we? All right, so up here we have this uh, little skeleton bulldog, and as you can see, he has a posable mouth. Now, the one on mine's a little bit busted and won't stay up. That's okay, it still looks really cool. He did have a collar or a leash on it, and um, it was like an actual leash where you could actually, um, it was like a whole line to it, but I took that off so that, um, you know, I thought it would look weird in the graveyard, so I just removed it. I just cut it off because it's just fabric. But as you can see, it does come with the collar, um, but again, I just cut it off, so... The bulldog looks really cool, and I'm right over here. I have uh, two snakes. I have I'm a regular snake right here. I don't think it's a uh, a rattlesnake or anything, but it's just a normal snake. As you can see, it's got the big fangs right there and the sharp teeth. And then whoop, uh, the other one we have here is the cobra, and um, this guy's teeth, uh, the bottom one particularly, are actually very sharp. I actually I'm surprised at that, but I'm. Um, as you can see, this one looks really cool. It's just a cobra snake. Looks awesome. And uh, next up here, we have the small animals. We have a little rat right here. We have a spider. Whoop, put them back up there. Uh, we have a scorpion. This one, I love this one because um, I love scorpions. And uh, we have a frog right here. And the frog, as you can see, if I can get it to open, uh, he does have an open and closable mouth as well as a movable head. And the same thing goes uh, with the rat. You can open his mouth and he can turn his head. Well, can you? Yes, you can. So yeah, those are the, uh, smaller animals. And, uh, next up here, and lastly, we have the two birds. Now, this one is a raven and this one is a vulture. Um, I really dig both of these, especially the raven, how I'm gonna have the big black eyes. And I'm um, just FYI, if you guys are curious where I got these from, uh, Home Depot and Target primarily, so, um, if you are interested in getting some of these, those would be the places that I recommend. So, um, yeah, that is the raven, and that is the vulture, and, um, you can adjust their heads. And, um, I believe the raven, you can open up the mouth, yes, I don't think you can do it on the vulture. So, yeah, those are the birds. Now, let's talk about the animatronic ones. Okay, so here are the animatronic ones. Now, each of them, um, they have different properties. Well, these four, um, they all have moving mouths, but the spider is a bit different, but they're all animated. And, uh, I love these. They're all so cool. So, um, as you can see, we have the wolf here. And, um, the wolf, you can adjust, um, it's two hind legs right there. And you can adjust them to, um, make it seem like it's standing, not just sitting down. I like the sitting down one more. I think it looks cooler. But, um, what the wolf will do is his eyes will light up once you turn them on. His, uh, mouth will open. And he'll start howling. Um, the cat right here... Um, it does pretty much what you think. It opens the mouth, its eyes light up, and it starts meowing and hissing. Then you have the dog right here, which again, his eyes will light up, and his mouth will move, and it'll make, um, barking noises. Now, the dog I actually got from, uh, Walgreens, so, unlike, uh, all the other ones, I got the dog at Walgreens, so just a fun fact. And, uh, last but definitely not least, we have the spider. Now, this one is definitely my favorite of all of the ones, you know, the animated ones. As you can see, it's gigantic, and um, the legs, um, you can spread them out to however long you want them to be. And um, as you can see, all six of the eyes right there, they will light up, and the inside of the uh, abdomen, it'll like uh, do a little bit of a pulsating mechanism. And uh, the actual spider, he'll shake, which is really, really cool. So, um, yeah, guys, that in a nutshell was my skeleton collection. I am going to go ahead and play for you all of the animated ones. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. 
And um, next time, I'm going to be talking about the animatronic that got me started on making my uh, front yard really, really cool. And that guy is the corn stalker. So stay tuned for when I review him. But um, for the time being, let me show you the animated ones in action.